Hello everyone, my name is Mayank Shah. I'm a student of Dr. Institute of Kena College of Engineering and Technology, B.Tech Final Year from Mechanical Engineering. We are making our project, final year project of solar adsorption refrigeration in which we are harnessing the heat of sun in converting it, to, uh, in using it for cooling effect. Now these are the equipments of our project, water tank, solar collector, adsorber tank, evaporator, condenser, these are the pipings and walls. Now uh, according to the theory, the heated water should come up and cold water should go down, but that is not working. That is why we are work, uh, using a pump that runs from electricity to circulate the water. Now, the water from the pump goes through these pipes inside the solar collector. That gets heated up due to its black coating over the copper tubes. That heated water flows through this pipe and goes inside the adsorber tank. There is a coiling of copper inside the tank that uh, rotates the water inside the tank and that water again goes inside the water tank, this tank. Now, th this is the cycle of water. Inside the adsorber tank, that uh, water inside the copper tube gives out its heat to the mixture of adsorbent adsorbate that is geolite and water. That mixture ad absorbs the heat and geolite releases the water in the form of vapor that is absor adsorption. Now that vapor flows through this pipe inside the condenser and gets converted into the liquid form. That liquid flows through this pipe, goes in the evaporator, then inside the evaporator it absorbs the heat and the cooling effect takes place. That uh, uh, liquid again absorbs the heat and gets converted into the form of water vapor and flows through this pipe inside the adsorber tank again. This is the complete cycle of adsorber-adsorbent mixture and there is the working. Thank you.